they'd like, like to move things on. Gentlemen, thank you very much. I'd like to ask uh, Ryan Mellon, former all Ireland of Toronto, to come up to the stage, and Tara Grimes, who's kindly joined us this afternoon as well. Okay, uh, Ryan, first of all, time to look after yourself as well as your players. I know that the PALS site on, on the Ulster Council website have seen that. There seems to be this sort of almost at the very top level, and it's been touched upon today. You're inter-county level, you've got your GPS, you've got X, Y, and Z, and you're, you're aware of all this stuff. But the, the normal player, which makes up the bulk of the association, mightn't have necessarily that type of information. So how can you get the information from, from what is required to be at the very top to, to the north or be five eighth, as I suppose the expression goes? Yeah, so I suppose the performance relates to not only senior inter county level, it relates right the way down under age, club level, whether it be reserve, whatever level you're playing at. So you mentioned the, the PALS um, program. Really to explain what it's about and to strip back a bit, I've been very fortunate to have the, to work and have the assistance of Sinai in my work with also GA in terms of um, performance, lifestyle and welfare. Um, one of the people I've been working with is a guy called Gary Longwell, who I'm sure a lot of you know he's a, he's a ex international rugby player and he was actually the performance coach for the Irish ladies hockey team that had so much success over the, the summer. So Gary's been very forward in sharing a lot of the stuff that he's been using with the, the elite level athletes and we have been using them within our programs but it was felt that we it was a good idea to pull that information and put it into a website so that it was accessible by everybody. So yourselves as coaches, whether it be underage, club, county, school coaches, it's accessible by you, it's accessible by players, parents, and really what it covers is it covers performance matters, lifestyle, and player welfare as well, because there's so much information out there, like anybody can go to the internet and they can find information on, say for example, goal setting or match preparation, but you don't know, it might be that specific to Caleb Games hurling football, so what we try to do is tailor it and make it specific so it's the right information that people are getting. Okay, Tara, I'm looking at some of the things coming up here in the slideshow at the minute. At the very top, I've seen something. Uh, sleep. I mean, is it really that important? It's absolutely fundamental. So, you know, you talk about optimal health and well-being, and there's a few aspects in there. One being sleep, obviously nutrition, hydration, but sleep is probably one of the top things that people don't even think about. Um, you know, they, they talk about you know, sleep hygiene, and that's not clean sheets, by the way, sleep hygiene is, you know, having the right environment at night when you go to bed. So a lot of us now are sitting up and we have blue lights till 11, 12 o'clock at night, and it's affecting our sleep. So even the temperature of your room, you know, having blackout blinds, having that room absolutely ideal for optimal sleep. So there's a difference in sleep and optimal sleep. Um, and I know people have a lot of Fitbits now, you can actually track how many times in the night do you have been restless? So I think that's probably drawn people's attention to sleep, um, but it's absolutely fundamental for, for optimal health and well-being and for mental health as well. Yeah, you obviously cover nutrition as well. I mean, there's a lot of myths there about nutrition. People say you should do this, don't do that. And you go for a Google search, it's telling you to do one thing, the next thing's telling you not to do it. I mean, can you dispel some of them, some of them myths that are maybe more commonly known? God, there's so many of them, and I think people will be shocked, you know, because they're so, because the, the mass media pump out so much rubbish, it's unbelievable. And some people just latch onto it and then they set, they go into like a default setting and that's how they live their life. But you know, there's so many myths out there in terms of health and things like, um, particularly when it comes to, to weight management, um, breakfast being the most important meal of the day, you know, don't eat carbs after six o'clock, you know, sugar is the devil. Um, you know, pro particularly for, for females, protein will bulky up. There, there's just so many different myths, and um, they are exactly that myths. Right, so breakfast isn't the most important no, part of the day. No, especially when it comes no, especially when it comes to to weight management. And I think you know, my priority here is every single person in this room is a coach. But um, you live your life, and you never think. You probably put your nutrition to the one side and you run on a default mode every day, but the food you put in your mouth is, you know, will affect every aspect of your life. Um, particularly your mental health, you know, the, the gut, there's an inextricable link between your gut and your brain. So if you're feeding your body rubbish, 
it does, the, you know, they talk about the gut feeling. The gut feeling is actually real, you know, it's not made up. So the importance of nutrition, um, it's, uh, I think it's, people have so many different ideas that they latch on to, but um, I'm open to any questions that anybody has. But, but weight management is critical because, you know, you want to be living at a normal um, BMI. Um, two thirds of the population are overweight or obese, so, and it's progressively getting worse. So that's just the environment we're living in right now. Okay, Ryan, you find that from a player's perspective, you know, just what the, the information that Tara's touched upon there, nutrition, sleep, those things maybe coaches might not be necessarily talking about this. Are you finding from a player's, player's perspective that it is that important? Yes, it definitely, it definitely is. Um, it's definitely important to have a I think I think it is important. Um, I think it's been touched on today as well. You know, everything's just a, a part of the, the puzzle. Um, you'll get the strength and conditioning coaches, and they'll be going with their thing, and nutritionists will be going with their thing. But I think one of the things I'm, I'm going back maybe to the, the, the PALS resource. One of the things that's in it is actually what we call pillars of performance. So it's actually challenging players to identify what actually is it that contributes to my performance. So one of the things that we looked at is like the, we've got five pillars contained in there. And we talk about, firstly, yes, the physical end of things is important. You have to be able to run, you have to be able to, you know, you have to be strong. But there's so many other things that tactics has come in so much. Do you understand the tactics that you're being asked to, to go out and do? Technical as well, so important. Sometimes we can forget about that. Can we perform the skills and perform the skills under pressure? And again, the, the lifestyle things, which we've just talked about, and the mental side of things, I think all those five things contribute. You know, so I know as a coach, it can be very, very hard to, I suppose, cover all those bases, but I think what we're trying to do with, with, with this resource is to try to give you that wee bit of knowledge and take the fear out of maybe approaching you know, the, the mental side of things or the, or the lifestyle side of things. Okay, we're gonna open this up very briefly to, to the audience to ask any questions, if there's any. Uh, does anybody have anything they'd like to ask? Folks up the front, any hands up? No hands up, everybody's afraid, okay. Any wonder, like the three boys are still scarred off that last question and answer there towards the end. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, in terms of this website, this is on, this, this is free to use for everybody, Ryan, I'm assuming. Yeah, it's just, it's actually went live, it'll be live on, on Monday. So again, I just um, encourage people to have a look at it. As I say, there's three sections. There's performance, so the things have been performed, so like the, the pillars of performance, profiling yourself. Um, there's some goal setting as well in there. There's some nutrition and hydration information. Moving on into the lifestyle side of things, we've talked about sleep hygiene. Another thing that I think is important for coaches and players as well is the time management. You know, we're all so busy, we're working, we're coaching, you've got your family commitments as well. So. I suppose it's encouraging people to build all that into your timetables. You know, your, your coaching, your work, and your downtime and your family time as well. So, some of the things that we've tried to support people with and put that information out there. Okay, and Tara, very lastly before we finish, lots of coaches here obviously, they're going to go away. There's a million things we've kind of almost touched upon today. There's strength and conditioning, there's tactical, there's tactics, there's so many things. And I'm just sort of coming out from a human point of view, I'm kind of thinking your sleep hygiene and those kind of things might be a, a little further down the list. What would you say to the coaches now to maybe impair that importance of just how key that message is? Well, I think the first thing, you sort of have to look at the low-hanging fruit. And whenever you present as a coach, you know, you, your standards have to be tip-top. You know, you are appearing on a football field and you have to be in top condition. So you have to look after yourself. So self-care is absolutely paramount. And I think we always put ourselves second. We're so busy working, we're so busy coaching, we're so busy doing other things that we forget about the quality of the food that we're eating. We forget about, you know, we just create such a stressful environment around ourselves. And ultimately it can lead, if you don't look after the food, if you don't look at the quality of the food that you're eating, the calories that you're eating, and look after your, you know, your weight, weight maintenance is a huge issue. You know, it's not even about being a, a certain BMI, it's about maintaining that weight as you get older, and your mental clarity. So when you're presented as a coach, how's your cognition? Are you sharp? Are you on the ball? Are you there? Are you available for your, your players? Um, so you... Are responsible and you have to put yourself first 
when it comes to you know your nutrition and your lifestyle and you ultimately have to be accountable to yourself okay brilliant folks thank you very much indeed round of applause please